In 2020, my siblings and I combined our stimulus checks and bought a quadruplex. What'd you do with your check? Come with us as we learn to rehab and market this multifamily building in an abandoned neighborhood. Yeah, we getting it out the mud. Hopefully our entrepreneurial spirit will allow us to trip out the bando. All right, Treppers, welcome back to the bando. Of course, we're not at the bando. We're in the truck. We at the top of day two and we're headed to the landfill to dump. We don't know exactly what we're about to have to tackle once we get in there. As long as I've been living in this county, I've never been to the landfill. So I'm interested to see what that's gonna be like and if they're gonna tax us a lot of money to dump. I like, I like the like, the guessing, like how much does it weigh? Okay, let's go ahead and put our guesses out there right now then. All right. The net weight of the trash. The okay. Or the gross, the or technically the gross weight of the trash. Okay. Yeah. We got some carpet. Me and you picked them up. We did. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just go ahead and throw a number out there and say that we are at about 787 pounds of trash. That's my guess. I'm gonna just throw a number out there. I ain't finna try to. I ain't finna try to do a whole bunch with it. I'm gonna just say 787. 787. Yeah. Pounds. 787 pounds. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Since you throwing numbers out there, I'm gonna throw a number out there. A wise woman. My name was. Who said what about weighing trash? Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, go ahead. Y'all didn't even let me finish. <laughs> a wise woman by the name of Felicia. Mm -hmm. Hey, mama. <laughs> hey, mama. She said when you are guessing, always go one, two, three, four. Large amounts of, like, pounds, jelly beans, whatever. So, my guess is going to be 1,234. Oh, just use that number, literally, mm -hmm. one, two, three, four. And then, so then you could be like, oh, it's 123,400, 20, 23, yes. blah, blah, blah. Or 12,345. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So going okay. sequential or numbers. Okay. So I'm not so, that far because I could have said 789. I just yeah. said 787. But okay. Um. So you saying 12... 134 pounds. Yeah. I'm at 787. We we 500 pounds so yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I'm going higher. Uh, do I want to go higher? You going higher? Yeah. Yeah, I think I want to go higher. I'm gonna say 1500 pounds on the nose. Just cause you know what I'm saying I gotta go. I gotta go bigger. So I'm saying 1500. I'm saying we was putting in work. The way I was sweating. All that drywall, all that, them carpets, the underlayment. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going 1500. So y'all take y'all guesses too. Put them in the comment what your guess was. Driver's license. there we got the we got the ticket and the gross weight is 7900 pounds you see that right there so we're going to be able to tell you how much we dropped yeah how much is it 7900 pounds almost 8000 pounds everything though the Car, truck. trailer, yeah. and debris. So how much do we think this truck weighs? You should know that. I do know that. Damn. I'm finna My say. Oh, yeah, he up there cheesing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I do know that. Oh, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. 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 So what is it going over the edge? Yeah, we're going to throw it in the street. 
Oh, okay. Oh. So That's I gotta true. get this a lot closer, huh? Boop! Man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get it popping. Let's get it. Hey. Hey, man, real talk. They out here dumping, right? And I should really just sit in the car and let them do all the work. I got to put on my shoes. Mm. Let me see how I feel. They, they putting in the work though. They can get me. I'm in the car looking cute. <laughs> Nelly, we appreciate you doing things right around here. Showing us how to do it, OSHA certified. Yeah. Oh. You know? You can't really hear me, so I'm going to speak right here to the camera. Uh -huh. But y'all, I don't play. I don't play. She don't play. I'm going to put on the goggles. She going to. So now, yeah. the heavy duty gloves. Everything. That right there? All that. I ain't touching it. Huh. Here. Straight up. We'll put some captions under there <laughs> so that we know what she said. Okay. We just got finished dumping, and now we are pretty much headed to see whose way is the most accurate. Ding, ding, ding. I'm actually satisfied with this experience. It's not anywhere near as hard as I thought it was gonna be considering what I'm used to, which is Tampa's dump, yeah. where it's a lot busier, there's a long line, like here, there's basically zero line and the uh, um, landfill workers actually help you a hell of a lot. Like they did the whole trailer by themselves. And I'm not the type to just sit back and watch another man work, especially for me. So, you know, we got out there and contributed. But um, yeah, that, I'm not used to that. So we have just pulled back up to the way station and um, we're about to get the verdict. 787, 120, 1234, and 1500. All right. Boom. Got the verdict. I just ripped it, but still, I got it. Have you done the math already? No, you can't. Unless you just the I beast. did. I mean, Nelly's good. Nelly beats. <laughs> <laughs> the one, two, three, four was closest. Shout out to my mama. And the Shout thing out to Felicia though. What's crazy though? <laughs> the craziest part is it's one three four zero pounds. Oh man. Yeah. Ridiculously close. Yeah, like she was like one number off almost. Like yeah, I mean she's within <laughs> technically seventy or eighty pounds of the correct answer. Yeah. Oh my mama. Oh my. <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Works. Wow. It works like a charm. Ever uh, since she told me that, wow. I have won like three competitions. She, is she a, is she she a gambling woman? No. She was gonna hunt. Got you. Wow. wow. So that means we, we demoed and hauled half a ton of stuff yesterday. That's point, also impressive. Point six seven tons to be exact. Point six seven oh, tons. Yes. yes. Point six seven tons. And the net weight was, if in case y'all didn't get it, one thousand three hundred and forty pounds. Well, I feel like, I feel like them workers was hungry. Like they appreciated having the job, and because a lot a lot of people was there, they was able to give us the kind of attention we would appreciate. Exactly. And they were willing to. Man, let me go ahead and try to get this one guy who basically did like all of the work done. 80%. <laughs> yeah, he. So these are inmates and they work for the county. So most of these guys are, all these guys are locked up. And he did say one thing that kind of resonated with yeah, me. Yeah, he was like, with me too. 
when we were working and we had the masks and all of that stuff on and he just kept um, basically unloading. We got a lot of fiberglass, a lot of construction material. Some of that stuff may have some mold on it and different things. And he said something along the lines of, y'all just, yeah, y'all step back and, and kind of just let me handle it. If anybody's gonna get uh, poisoned from asbestos or die from asbestos, then it should be me. Which um, he said it somewhat lighthearted, but he also said it in a manner that could be reflective of how he views himself and the value of himself. Um, so I did kind of take note of that, but you know, it's like you still have value if you out here trying to reform your life and at least change the direction, contribute to society, you know, don't count yourself out. So, Nelly, you don't know about this because me and Evan was talking about it last night. And I feel like we should call an audible. I feel like we should call an audible and change up our approach to what we are doing. Um, so before the we short, get into it, what was our what was our approach for David? Yeah, well, our original plan was to clear the floor and then the walls and ceiling, each unit one by one, basically. And then we would load up these trucks, haul it to the dump, load them up, haul it to the dump, load them up, haul it to the dump. Um, I'm thinking I'm, I'm thinking we need to call an audible and we need to change our approach. And in all honesty, it's probably smarter if we just invest in a dumpster um, and do this, do the remaining three units with a dumpster. Yeah, it's basically time. Time is time is the, the the biggest factor, and then there's the effort and energy portion of it, and then there's, in all honesty, this is not the best week for you to be out here doing this. It just is what it is. And you're getting up at four thirty in the morning every day. You're going to early as hell in the morning just to come do some strenuous hazardous material work just to go to a everyday practice um it's also yeah because it's activity. because it's for competition week right so you got competition week you got the job you got all this stuff going on so for you that's already just overextending yourself for me and nevin it's not really practical labor wise or time wise when if we rent the dumpster we just load it up, somebody else dumps it, somebody else brings it to us. We don't have to spend two and a half hours every day in transit and return to the bando and dump it. That's all time lost of us actually just clearing it out. And when you look at the grand scheme of how much money we are saving, it's not really worth it. Because by the time we pay $50 four more times, Plus the 200 for the trailer rental for the week, plus gasoline, time, effort. You add it all up, you know, it, it just doesn't equate. So, you know, we was like, we doing this, we're, we're doing this for you guys, honestly, Treppers. We doing this for y'all um, to show that if you are in a pinch, you can get it done by any means necessary. We not doing anything we're not, we're not spending high amounts of money, but it does cost us a hell of a lot more time and it costs us a hell of a lot more energy and effort. And so, um, you know, in the spirit of showing you all that kind of approach, we wanted to at least give it a shot. And if things worked out super, super good and it turned out, oh, we could demo out two units and only have to make one trip and we could, you know, but it didn't play out that way. It turns out that every single minute step of this we feel it and it costs us more time than we really want and so um 
I feel like we just need to regroup. If we already know this is an inefficient process, we may as well maximize our efficiency and leave as many units untouched and do them all the right way than for the sake of staying busy doing them this way. So as y'all can see, we are fully suited and booted. We are back at the Bando in our backyard. Um, we're gonna be entering into the kitchen and starting in the kitchen. Now, we took off the plywood and everything so that we could pretty much just gain access to it. It's easier this way. And with all of the dust and everything flying around, it was a lot easier to just open up the back door and then do our work right there. And we can even just throw stuff right out the back door. This demo process, we basically only touched one area, right? The kitchen. True. But um, the kitchen was the worst. The kitchen is the worst, yeah. Um, it's got the most crap, it's on the exterior wall. Um, our wall, as y'all saw in the other episode, has a hole in it, which means it's been receiving water damage for an extended period of time. So that exterior wall, you can imagine mold and all this other kind of stuff is you know, kind of building up in that. So we spent pretty much this whole day of demo in the kitchen. To me, you know, we already said that we pretty much are calling an auto and we're not gonna be doing this very much longer. And honestly, getting in there today really just reaffirmed that. Yeah. Um, I feel like when we have get started so late, and leave so frequently are frequently our energy levels kind of like start off low instead of we out here it's 10 o'clock in the morning it's a fresh day we just ate breakfast a healthy breakfast but getting out here at one o'clock it's like we don't wasted all our energy yeah so. it feel like you had a day before your day starts and of course again especially speaking for nelly right now 4 30 in the morning shift till nine and then come to this it's like i know you felt like you done had a whole day we appreciate y'all tuning in to this episode and uh chances are we'll be right back in here tomorrow doing the same thing technically since the kitchen was the hardest spot we will likely move on to just the rest of the unit in general and i i'm hoping that it's not gonna be that it's not gonna be nowhere near as bad as yeah. the kitchen was. So y'all stay tuned and we'll see y'all in the next one. And ladies, could you see yourself out here doing this? Answer me in the comments below. Okay. Bando, what's your going on? Juice? Yeah, yeah. Got the crew, got the crew. Has mad suits. Um, um, got the crew, got the crew. Has mad suits. Mm. We trying to get that cash. Ooh. We trying to get that loot. Ooh. Don't play around with us, cause nah. you gonna need our boots. We want a whole lot of money. We trying to make it sunny. Make it shine. Grind, do it all the time. No lie, bust on the rhyme. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Finna get the cash. Oh yeah, front of duplex. Oh yeah, riding around. Oh yeah, with my Smith check. Oh yeah, put in my quadruplex. Uh, mm. Ride around with no stress. No, mm. we gon' get it today. Yeah, mm. y'all need a bed knock up. No sir. Hey. Okay, I'm done, man. <laughs> that real, that's real freestyle. Yo, that ain't no, yeah, that, that ain't no, no, that ain't that no, no written suit. Yeah, my boy snapped in the hazmat suit. Okay. In the hazmat.